What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, this is, you'll see this a day or so before Christmas. And I uh, just wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, safe travels, um, have fun, see your family, make the best of the holiday season this year. Um, they go by so fast. Enjoy it. Um, it's always a good time spending with family. But, guys, getting near and uh, almost to the finish line of our little small block. Let me go ahead and bring you up to speed if you did not catch the last episode um, where we kind of were finalizing everything. We're pretty much there. But as you can see, another big order from LMR. So let's get into it. Oh, that's Alex. All right, back at it, guys. What did we get from LMR? We got a couple things. Uh, for some reason, there's not an FL1A at any parts store within a 100-mile radius of me. I Welcome to 2021. Whatever. Uh, brand new Motocraft spark plugs. Guys, check this out. You see how all these boxes say Motocraft? When it comes down to stuff like this, I it, if I can at all, I'm going OE. I don't even like the mo the uh, Ford Racing spark plugs anymore. The, I, I guess those are made in China now, too, and they're... Anyway, so we've got uh, brand new spark plugs. we got brand new wires, brand new fuel filter. Obviously, that's going to go on later. This is a uh, brand new flywheel for it. Uh, we're not obviously doing that today. Um, but uh, we got coolant temperature sensor for the gauge, air charge temperature sensor, and then fresh IAC and hardware. And then, of course, we got more bolts from LMR. I'm not sure which ones are left, actually. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty well, pretty well done. Um, let me go ahead and recap. Guys, remember that nasty throttle body? Not bad, right? That's basically soaking in the most caustic freaking degreaser you've ever seen in your entire life. And then uh, toothbrush and... Uh, wire brush and all that doesn't look perfect but pretty pretty freaking close okay where else are we at uh this is all the uh the lmr bolt kit guys i'm telling you do yourself a favor and buy them i mean look at it they're freaking arp here you don't have those old crusty studs they are worth their weight in gold uh balancer brand new balancer and timing pointer are on tensioner alternator bracket are on uh, we'll probably put that on in the car. Uh, oil uh, pressure sender on. So we are nearing uh, completion time. Like almost time to put it in the car. Everything's ready to go. Got our grounds, all of our vacuum lines. Super pumped. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get some of this little stuff installed and that will pretty pretty much put the fin uh, the finishing touches on this engine um this this thing ought to run great but yeah let's get busy
All right, guys, I think we're uh, nearing the finish line, all the little details. A uh, couple things I'm missing. I do not have the gaskets. Uh, I ordered them. They haven't gotten here yet. Um, and I ordered a brand new complete uh, hose kit from LMR, an upper or lower. Uh, the two heater hoses here and the two at the um, heater core. So waiting on those. Um, I've already got the distributor. Uh, let's see. I need the fly. I need the clutch. I've got the flywheel right there and guys probably the next time you see this we're going to be dropping it in um i've still got here's a couple of things a couple of notes i've still got to clean uh the air conditioning compressor and basically going to make it you know look like new as well um and finish that up i don't have to have that done to get it in the car um but that's pretty much all i like we got you know we've already got the distributor and uh, we're leaving it out purposely because we're going to prime the oil system before we actually start it because this is a brand new engine definitely prime your oil uh, system first and guys that's it uh crank pulleys right there brand new wires are there so essentially oh and i need I've got this. I don't know where it's at, but it's it's here somewhere. But essentially, guys, we're pretty well nearing the finish line. And then we've got uh, parts like this. Um, I'm just going to clean. Just kind of make look as pretty as possible. But uh, just a lot of little details, guys. The, the thing about going down a rabbit hole, and I'll go ahead and take a sidebar real quick. When you do something like this and you go to all the time and effort to make an engine look this good, what happens is the spiral effect. And the spiral effect is, in fact, when you put this nice, clean, pretty engine in with all those new parts, anything that isn't brand new or perfectly cleaned is going to stick out like a sore thumb. So we did this with Ford 8, too. It's like, it's, it's like going down a rabbit hole. Once you start down that rabbit hole... <laughs> It's a never-ending process. And, and, well, I mean, I'll go back a little bit. If, if you really care about the final outcome, which I do, um, then you're going to end up spending a lot more time and money and energy cleaning everything else. But, hey, it is what it is, and I'll go ahead and tell you, I, I just looking at this, to me, is just mind-blowing. It is just mind-blowing seeing how nice this came out. All right, guys, so a couple more updates on Project Two-Tone. Obviously, you know, we got the brand new headers, um, and then it came with a uh, very nice off-road H. So to finish off the exhaust, which is also back ordered, I uh, got a brand new Flowmaster American Thunder cat back for it. Um, that will be going on, so it's going to have that signature sound. That's the exact same setup we did on Pop's car, the exact same setup we did on Project 4 to 8, and it's one of those where yes i know flow masters aren't flow masters are a matter of opinion you know as far as the sound and everything but as far as i'm concerned that's the old school sound that's what a fox body like that is the unmistakable off-road h pipe and two chamber flows um or american thunder or whatever you want to call it that is the signature sound uh, so that's why i do it and obviously the winner can change it and boo anything they want but they'll have an entirely brand new uh kick-ass exhaust system from headers all the way to the tailpipes and uh it's gonna sound good too so i'm excited for that all right boys that is pretty much gonna wrap it up whole lot of stuff going on we will be back on the uh, coyote swapped 03 harley davidson f-150 series uh so stick around for that that is coming haven't forgot about you guys uh we will be putting the engine and the brand new whipple in lee's car very shortly that's going on and if you'll notice behind me in the shop Dover's truck is gone, so stuff going on with Dover's truck. Uh, Alex has been up to all kinds of no good, and I'll just go ahead and tell you, he no longer owns the black truck. So, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you guys, we got so much, and, and he's already started another project. So I'll just I'll I'll leave it at that, and we'll we'll come back to that at another time. But um, uh, again, guys, Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a safe and happy uh, Christmas, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one later.